वेलकम टू ऑन प्रिंट शॉप टूडे अंडर स्टोर पर्सनाइजेशन विल सी प्रोडक्ट पेज लेआउट एंड लैंग्वेज टेक्स्ट रेफरेंसेस वी विल सी व्हाट इज प्रोडक्ट पेज लेआउट एंड हाउ टू चेंज प्रोडक्ट पेज लेआउट आल्सो वी विल सी व्हाट इज लैंग्वेज टेक्स्ट रेफरेंसेस एंड हाउ टू चेंज लैंग्वेज टेक्स्ट रेफरेंसेस to understand the product page layout you will need to go to admin panel store personalization product page layout here you can see this is the default product page layout if you click on this preview button you will be able to see the product page layout preview like say in the top image gallery and price calculator then tab content action buttons product extra message again tab content and product review so this is the product page layout to better understand let's go to store front so here's the product page of a standard business cards so you can see in the top you have image gallery then price calculator then tab content like description pricing and templates then you have action buttons again tab content related products and product review now if you want to change this product page layout like say the image gallery should be on the right hand side price calculator should be on the left hand side action buttons should be on the top and tab content this related product should not be there and product review should not be there then you need to go to product page layout under store personalization in the admin panel just click on add button on top right hand corner add the product page layout name then layout type so this product page layout will be for website or mobile that you can select from here then sidebar display so the sidebar is displayed on the product page on the left hand side you can see the sidebar if you don't want to display this sidebar select no sidebar from here then from here select product you will need to select the product for which you want to change the product page layout i want to change the product page layout of standard business card then i'll select standard business card from here so after you select the product you will need to select the blocks from here like say if you want action buttons at the top select action buttons and click on add button so the block is added over here for action button then you want price calculator select the block for price calculator and product image gallery block you can select so after selecting the blocks adding the blocks you can arrange the blocks according to your requirement of the product page layout i'll click on save over here and when i refresh the page it will show the change product page layout so you can see right now there are two blocks action button and image gallery now i add the block for price calculator and change it like this and save now i refresh the product page so action buttons are on the top price calculator on the left image gallery on the right so you can see that the product page layout is changed accordingly you add or change the blocks from here now i want tab content so 
I will select tab content block from here and I want tab content next to image gallery and below that I want the price calculator. So I have added tab content over here. Now I will need to select the content of the tab from here under tab content. So I select the content of the tabs. After selecting the top content of the tabs, you need to save. Next, I select the content, product description, and price list. Now I click on save and refresh the product page. So you can see now the action button top, then you have the tab content, then product image gallery and below that you have the price calculator. So this is how you can change the product page layout. Now talking about the action buttons, here are the icons of the action buttons. Suppose I want them as a buttons instead of icons. Then I can select from here under the action buttons. Instead of icon, I will select button here. Click on save. And when I refresh, so here are the action buttons instead of action button icons. Now suppose instead of these three different buttons, I want a single button over here and then to display these three buttons under a pop-up. Then I can select from here option in pop-up as yes, click on save. When I refresh, you can see now there is a single button. When I click on this single button, all the three buttons appears under a single pop-up. So this is how you can manage the action buttons and even if you want action buttons instead of horizontal, if you want a vertical action buttons, then you can select vertical from here. You can have vertical action buttons. Like for example, I want these vertical action buttons and I want them next to price calculator. So, I have selected vertical and shifted the block to price calculator, next to price calculator. Now, I will click on save. And refresh over here. Also, I will remove this pop-up option. So now you can see the action buttons are displayed vertically. So this is how you can manage or change a product page layout from store personalization product page layout. Now we will talk regarding the language text references. So language text references are the language text. For example, this is the language text reference. What would you like to do? or this one, the browse design. So these kind of language text references or here it is find your price. So these all are language text references. Now if you want to change these language text references, just go to language text reference, search the text you want to change and from there you can change the text. Here I will write price calculator instead of find your price. And click on save. When I go to the storefront and refresh, 
you can see the language text is replaced by price calculator same way what would you want to do instead of this i want some other language text then i'll change it from here i'll search for what would you like to do and i'll write over here to proceed click below and save so you can see it has been changed to to proceed click below so this kind of any language text references you want to change on your website just go to admin panel store customization language text references and you can change the language text references thank you for watching this video